Hey you guys, what's going on? It's Klaus and thank you so much for tuning in to this episode, episode 12 of our Fix That Rush series. I am on my Town Hall 10 Archimedes and it is a rushed count that we inherited. Level 2 King, no Queen, terrible walls and defenses. And we have been working diligently to upgrade this base and get it back to normal guys. So I have been working on maxing out Jai Barch, which we actually successfully maxed out the Giants, the Barbarians, and the Archers in our laboratory but i'm not quite ready to start dark elixir farming with our famed gigabarch or goblin knife or any of those specific armies i am still highly prioritizing elixir to upgrade army camps and to upgrade stuff in the laboratories guys so that means that the next big upgrade is going to be our goblins we want to get those maxed out as well that means we need to get some more elixir so i've got barge trained up as always still the number one best way to get elixir so i'm going to boost my Barracks, I'm going to boost my king and my queen. I do not use any spells when I barge, which makes it very, very efficient. And I think we can go out and we can find us a raid, guys. So I am chilling in Gold League, a Town Hall 10 in Gold League. It's rough, but occasionally I find huge diamonds in the rough, guys. And with all these elixir, go uh, elixir and gold grabs, guys, we can upgrade things like our walls, which are terribly rushed. We want to get them all to level 8 for sure as soon as possible. We also want to upgrade the army camps to max. We got one going right now currently, and uh, we get three more, each at 6.75 million gold. So that's a big project. Also getting our goblins maxed, our heal spells, jump spells, etc. Maxed out in our laboratory is going to be another big job, guys. So let's um, skip ahead. Let's find us a base or two, and then I'm going to finish up this boost. We're going to figure out how much loot we ended up with. So right now, I've got about 4.1 million elixir. So let's see how much loot this boost gives us. Let's find us a base, smash it in the face, and uh, continue on rolling. We got to bring in the money, guys. We got to get this base upgraded and maxed out as soon as we can, within reason, of course. This is episode 12, doing about an episode a week. So that means we've been at this for three months, and the progress on the base has been excellent, but we got a lot more to go. Um, okay, so <laughs> two and a half minutes into searching, I run into this base. It's got elixir storage on the outside. That means that we're guaranteed a decent haul of elixir, regardless of how we do in the actual attack. So let me go ahead and stomp out this mortar here, because mortars are death for Barch. So we'll take that baby out, and then we'll also take this uh, wizard tower out. And how are we going to attack the actual base? Probably from the north, right? So um, first of all, let's grab this elixir. It shouldn't take much because it's on the outside and really undefended besides a little bitty, teeny tiny, uh, like level 2. or Maybe that might even be a level 1. I don't really even know. It's Tesla. So we're going to take out all that, and then we're going to stomp. We're going to bombard. We're going to destroy this base from the north, guys. First things first. Let's take out the enemy queen, a uh, bunch of barbarians, and a handful of archers there. That should really take care of that level one queen. And then everything else should be taken out from the north. So we'll start on the right and work our way in, just like so. Something is uh, upgrading over there on the top and for some reason that really distracted my troops but anyway so we've got that one if we could take out that one mortar in the middle that would be fantastic because then we wouldn't really have anything major to worry about so there we go there is that um this wizard tower is kind of doing some work on those troops on the left hand side but we got a lot of troops in the core that are gonna be destroying and gutting this base guys um the queen is in which is gonna help out as well king is in a huge haul of troops it looks like we're gonna get 100 percent of this elixir guys unless we fail to get the uh the town hall but I don't see that happening. Pop my king's special ability. He's going straight at this town hall now. And um, that is actually really, really nice. So this is why I wanted to max up my barge. Because they are actually quite dis destructive. They're pre pretty strong. And uh, we were able to lock on to almost 100% of the elixir. Let me pop my queen's special ability. We get a little bit more percentage for fun. And then we'll close out before they take too much damage. And 290,000 gold plus 13. So we got we got our minimum 300,000 elixir. Which is awesome. So I'm going to do... Uh, let's do two more live raids and then i'll finish up the uh the boost live or not live uh off camera and um and then we'll spend all the loot we will spend all the monies and hopefully make the base a little bit better here we are guys with a base with 450,000 elixir and it is in a bunch of places oh my goodness um okay let's see there's only oh man there's a storage over here too i was gonna see if i can maybe snipe some spots and then and then wreck the base from one side but it looks like 
we're going to have to sacrifice some of this loot. Um, or, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna goblin wave. Or I'm going to make... I'm not goblin. I'm going to barge wave this base from the top and the right. And then I'm going to use my heroes to get some of the loot from the left. So, uh, three-finger deployment this time. Kind of from uh, the top and the right there. Just like so. Looking good, gentlemen. With the blonde hair and the mustache beard combination. Whatever the heck that is. And um, here we go. All the barbarians and archers are down. So newbie, right? Just dropping them down. Just kind of just spamming everything. I wish I brought some wall breakers. That'd probably help a lot. But um, what I would love, guys, is if we could get in there. If we can get the elixir out of this collector. That baby right there is holding at least 100,000. I guarantee it. So we're grabbing that. Now, if we could grab this elixir, that would be fantastic. Max Barch, guys, I'm loving it. I'm loving the power behind these babies. And the elixir, wow. <laughs> Elixir Escapade number three. That is sweet. All right. So what is next? Um, you know, in the perfect world, we'd also get this this Elixir storage. Um, but I'm not entirely sure we'll get it. We did just grab the town hall, which is nice. Um, but let's just see. We just let's just see. This uh, mortar is very busy right now. Look at all those archers, guys. And it just got completely decimated. Wow, that was sweet. That was sweet. All right. Well, they got completely wrecked. All right. So the next. Uh, order of business guys is what do we want to do with our barbarian king and our archer queen um, I'm starting to think that uh, we, we start them from over here on this corner okay so there's nowhere for the king to go but in once he takes out this army camp unless he decides to try to go for that sweeper over there nope okay pop the king's special ability early get him into that wall and then the king should take out some of the defenses the queen should be able to snipe that storage and hopefully if luck is on our side she will swing down and take out the elixir out of the collector as well so right now she is um, single handedly sniping the king she's going to step up into the range of the king Pop Queen special ability. She's gonna get the collect of the storage, and then hopefully she will walk down. Oh man, she's getting shot. Okay, she's not even gonna get the elixir storage. Man, weak heroes is the worst. Hoo ah. Okay, well, three hundred sixty-six thousand elixir. That's not too shabby, right? Let's go out and do another one, and hopefully we can find even better loot. And man, we should have grabbed this elixir. Top left hand side of the screen. We should have grabbed that elixir. That would have been super epic. But we did it. All right. So anyway, let's, uh, we don't need to cry about it. We'll find more. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Your pretty little faces, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to find some more loot. All right. So we got our boost. Let's get it going. Let's get some loot. So let's tear up a base. Um, I'm enjoying myself, guys. Um, I love the barching in this rushed series because it is actually quite relaxing. If you guys are um, having a stressful day and you want to come home and you want to just relax, guys, turn on some Netflix, turn on some YouTube, watch some Klaus Gaming, right? Uh, and uh, and 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 boost some barge, guys, because seriously, like it's super relaxing, especially if you do it like I do and just spam it. Um, that is, uh, that's super fun for me anyway. And I do a lot of those one hour Barch and Chill episodes. You're more than welcome to watch those. Mute me if you want, if I, if my rambling annoys you and, uh, just kind of watch and boost with me and enjoy the show. Uh, that's, that's an option. Wow. Look at all this loot. Too bad our troops are not strong enough. I'm not going to fall for temptation. I've done it too many times lately. All right. Well, I'm going to find, I'm going to find loot and, uh, hopefully we can get it all. We're going to get fat and happy up in here, ladies and gentlemen. I just got to find the base first. We got to have a little luck. Lady Luck is not on our side today. I wish she was because I've been searching for a while. And it's really disappointing. <sighs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, here we go, guys. Check it out. We got a dead base, 300,000 elixir, and it's a dead base. I mean... A clearly dead base, dead expo. Look at that. No purple ammunition in there. This baby is is sleeping. Problem child is my homie. I love that person, whoever they are, because they're going to donate to the cause. They're going to help me repair this rushed base. And uh, 120 barbarians. You know what I just realized, guys? Like, whenever we attack bases like this, we're legit, like, sending all these troops to their death. Like, have you ever seen any troops come back home? No. They always, like... You, you send out 220, 240, however many troops you send out, and then none of them come home. So that means you're, you're essentially sacrificing these people, these troops, for the sake of money. 
I mean, that's pretty awful. That is selfish indeed. I'm going to send my king and my queen at this town hall. But yeah, that's pretty rough stuff. Uh, don't think too much about that. But anyway, um, queen is working on the town hall right now. Our troops have broken in. We got 100% of the loot. Um, all, what was it, 200 and... 300 and something thousand elixir. That's pretty nice. Uh, we're getting hit by a mortar, but our queen is taking the shot, or at least I thought she was. Um, and the queen is still working on a wall. Okay, well, let's break the king in. Hopefully his little um, troops don't get hurt too much. And uh, for some reason, they decided to go after the uh, mortar. Okay, well... Um, the only splash damage left are two wizard towers. Uh, both definitely take... We could take them with our king and our queen. However, the um, the uh, archer tower and the in or these three point defenses are going to ruin it. So we're not going to get a three star. Uh, but we are definitely going to grab a high percentage just for fun. Okay, so we'll pop that. We're going to grab... Let's kill this dark elixir storage for fun. And then let's cut out. All right. Come on, buddy. Come on. Betty. Betty for the win. Yes. All right, guys. 310,000 elixir plus a little bit of loot bonus. And that is how we do it, guys. Now I'm going to finish up this boost. And uh, we're going to see how much loot I end up with and spend it all. Spend all the money and get nice and fat and happy and then take a nap. All right. So I'll be back in a second. And the boost is over, guys, and after about 10, maybe about 12 attacks, I am at 6.6 .6 million elixir, which means we profited 2.4 million elixir, averaging about 200,000 per raid in profit. Who doesn't like profit? I love profit. So that means that we are able to pretty much do anything we want in our laboratory. Um, the idea was to do goblins, but let's just analyze what we got here. We got uh, balloons or super low level. We got max uh, healers. That's good. We got wizards, dragons, P.E.K.K.A. We don't need any of those. The heal spell would be good. The jump spell would be good as well. Um, so I think of the three that I really think would be a good idea between the... Um, between the goblin, the heal spell, and the jump spell, we'll go with the, uh, we'll go with the goblin, guys. The goblin level 6 upgrade is super, super useful. Look at how much benefit this thing has, and it's only 4.5 million elixir. That's a lot of elixir, but it's not like 8 million, like some of the upgrades I've done. So, in 8 days, we'll have a level 6 goblin. I believe we have another upgrade uh, that we have to do to him, but I'm not entirely sure. So, um, there we go. The laboratory has been situated. Let's go into our progress base and see what we can do with the elixir. Other than that, I've only got 2 million, so um, the next drill that I need to upgrade is 4 million. There's no way I've got that much of my treasury. Let me go ahead and check. Yeah, 280,000 is not going to make a big deal at all. So we're going to hold on to our elixir for the probably the next video unless I go ahead and upgrade an army camp off camera, but probably not. I probably won't do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend all of our builders on defenses and traps, whatever's the cheapest, and it looks like it's going to be 500,000 gold spring traps. And I've got four builders, which means I'm going to be spending 2 million gold, which means 4.7 million gold gets to go into our walls. I'm going to spend all my gold now. So we'll do um, 1, 2, that's 1 million, 3, 4, that's 2 million, uh, 5, Six, that's three million, and uh, I've already done, forgot how much loot I'm going to be sending four times. So I can still, I can spend, I must have done math wrong or I'm forgetting or something, but I can go all the way down to two million gold, guys. So that is it there, and that was a lot of walls, guys. We did some stuff on the base, and now let's go ahead and get these spring traps going. That's one, that is two, that is, oops, sorry, that is uh, one more, that is three, and before I fill up my fifth builder, just to make sure, I don't think I can uh, do anything with Dark Elixir, 22500 for the king, 45000 for the queen, twice as expensive, so we have not enough Dark Elixir for a king or queen upgrade, but that's okay, getting these traps, getting the defenses Everything upgraded, the walls especially, are very, very important as well. So we'll go ahead and start our uh, fourth spring trap here. 500,000 gold, 16-hour upgrades. We're now almost completely broke with gold, guys. But we spent 6.7 million gold on our base. And a lot of elixir in the laboratory. So guys, 
successful day so far. The uh, the first Max Army Camp still has just under four days to go. Hopefully, we can get the second Army Camp going to Max very, very soon. But, of course, prioritizing our laboratory. Um, and, um, guys, that is going to do it for today. We got a good amount of work done on the base. I hope to continue doing that. If you enjoy this series and if you enjoy watching me figure out how to recover this rush base, like the video. Hit that thumbs up. Show me that you love it. And subscribe if you have not joined the Klaus family. And as always, I will see you guys again next time.